Alright guys, welcome back to another Python tutorial. We're continuing to work with GetPass, and in fact, this is kind of actually going to be the last video for GetPass, just because it's such like a simple library, and there's not really a whole lot to cover in it. I know the video is only, the, the series anyway, is only like two videos, and that's kind of dumb, but hey, I wanted to cover this module, so here it comes. Alright, so if I get uh, my nice little terminal open here, I'm going to call up Python, and you know, we can go ahead and import GetPass, easy enough as that. And then we've got get pass, we're ready to work with it. But I want to be able to show you guys this new function, and it's the get pass function that I was talking about earlier. In fact, you're going to be calling get pass dot get pass because the function is actually called that. So by default, if you run this, it will display password, but you can also modify the variables or at least the arguments or whatever you're passing into the function to create your own prompt. So password, I'm going to type here. I made it as loud as possible so you guys could hear it. And uh, if I enter that, there, there's all the crap that I type. It just got returned to me. We could just say um, input is going to equal get pass dot get pass, and then blah 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 blah. Now if I were to print out input, there it is right there. Okay. Anyway, let's check this out with the um, with the prompt though. We can just say get pass, and then we can pass in what is it? What do I want to say? Um, host or um, I don't know, John at Ubuntu. And then it'll prompt me for the password right there. And I can say um, whatever the password may be in our case, and I'll say tuna. Now it's tuna. And we can just set that to be like pass or a variable name, and we can work with that when we're trying to connect to something. So pass equals that. Oh, yep. Pass is actually a command, so we can't call that. It has to be password. Password equals get pass, get pass John. So we'll tuna, and then print password, and that sort of thing. So now if we were working with Paramico or something, we'd have to be passing in that, that variable. So that's why we actually need to use this function, because we actually need to be able to use those things so we can connect to programs and use that sort of functionality inside of our code, but we still don't really want the user and anyone else to be able to see what it is they're typing. So that's why we use the get pass um, module. Okay. <laughs> So I will admit to you guys, though, that there is a couple of other things that you can do with GetPass, and uh, I'll show you those right now if we go up to uh, the internet, GetPass, and uh, I got Google over here. Now, when we load this, GetPass, Python, yada, 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 you can see that we have, you know, the actual module that we're working with. Um, there's the function that we were just working with, and you can even see that there's the prompt um, argument, and there's even another optional stream argument, and that'll determine like the sort of file or what it is that you're writing to. So it's typically like standard input or at least a terminal that you're working with and that sort of thing. And there are some exceptions that you can work with. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, that's just for error checking if you're trying to make your, comp your uh, program a bit more clean so it doesn't have a hissy fit and close on you when you don't want it to, that sort of thing. So, uh, okay, <laughs> I think I've covered it. Get Pass is unbearably simple, but it's really, really helpful and kind of nice. So use this in your programs, guys, if you ever think you might feel the need. So see you later. Bye.